That awkward moment when you have a baby in a liquor store and get caught by Nicolas Cage. I was told to make a Facebook pregnancy pic. Wife was not amused. There are no mistakes, just happy little accidents. Mom, don't touch the scissors. Six-year-old me, later that day. Well, hey, at least he can see now. Food isn't allowed in the living room. His tablet isn't allowed in the kitchen. He beat the system. I quit. My sister asked me to watch her son yesterday, so I took him skydiving. Kids and parents can relate. When you're a kid, you don't realize you're also watching your parents grow up. Kids. Adults having money to spend on games. Adults. Kids having time to play games. Seven-year-old me playing dead in the pool to see if anyone cares. I get into trouble for this. Not bad grades. Me. Goes to family event. Some random woman I've never seen in my life. I changed your diaper when you were a baby. He's not wrong. Five-year-old me waiting for my mom to get off the phone so I can tell her I <coughs> my pants. Do anything else. Gaming. Teenagers. Six-year-old me pretending to not be tired so my parents won't force me to go to bed so I can stay up and watch TV. Six-year-old me debating if I should go into my parents' bedroom after the loud and scary thunderstorm woke me up at 2 a.m. For those who say I endanger my child, it's more likely that you will fall while walking on the sidewalk than I will while skating with my daughter. Tony Hawk I went on a date recently with a girl named Veronica. I picked her up and when she opened the front door I couldn't resist quoting Anchorman and said, Oh Veronica, my little china doll, you look ravishing. Before she even started to laugh I hear her father yell from a different room, Bury that kid. My dad builds bunk beds for his daughters. There's so much room for activities. My mom was upstate for the weekend and she was on her way home today and texted me and said, do you want anything from the store? And I was like, Mom, why are you talking like you're ghetto? And she sent me this. Growing up is realizing that talking doesn't scare the fish and that Grandpa just wanted you to shut up. My little sister is getting made fun of at school because she's adopted. This is what she responded with. Well, my parents chose me. Your parents are stuck with you. That's a perfect response. I am working a morning shift at a cafe. We are serving breakfast. A little boy and his mother enter the cafe. Me. So what will it be? Child. I wish to devour the unborn. There is a sudden silence and everyone turns to look. The mother looks very embarrassed. Mother. Eggs. He would like some eggs. Only a kid would think to ask for eggs in that way. How to keep your kids entertained for hours for only two dollars. Six cups of water, one cup of corn syrup, two cups of regular strength Joy Dis Soap. They are industrial strength, unpoppable. I asked my son what he was scribbling on the map. Without looking up, he replied, My plans for world domination. E7. He must have seen an old episode of Pinky in the Brain. If you know who that is, Hit subscribe and comment below. Dad of the year. To the person who stole my son's pumpkin. Thank you for the life lesson. This will help teach him that sometimes people are mean for no reason. And you have to just brush it off. Because my son is two years old and cannot read the sign, I will add, You are an <coughs> Got distracted for five seconds when I hear my son saying, Look dad, I'm the lawyer from Jurassic Park. Nothing like showing up to work three hours late because you can't find your keys. My dad said, take a picture of us. And I said, one, two, I just want you guys to realize I'm moving out tomorrow and won't be here to take pictures of you anymore. Three, a lone sharpie lid. One of the most terrifying things a parent can find. 91% rubbing alcohol, doesn't remove permanent marker from everything, 
but it certainly helps. I'm sending you an article about the importance of bonding with your children. Cool. Hey, Mom and Dad, you want to play outside with me? Not now, bud. We're reading about being good parents. The youngest person in this house is 21. The look your mom gives when she loves you, but wishes you had made better decisions. I was like, what happened to her legs? Then realized it's a bag of popcorn. Being a baby must be traumatizing at times. Imagine going to sleep in your house and you wake up at Target. I was telling my sister that I've been going to the gym recently and my nephew said, you should go inside when you get there. And I don't think I'll ever recover from that. <laughs> Kids have no filter. Mosh Pit Junior Training Division. Me dealing with my kids. My kid dealing with my mom. Clean your room. People are coming over for a barbecue. Me looking for the grill in my room. This is why babies are born without teeth. It reminds me of that meme of that older guy that's sitting at a desk. This is the most cursed face swap I have ever seen. Our parents make cute babies. Your mother is a printer. Oh no, my kid figured out the baby monitor. I think this means you have seven days to live. My favorite thing about being a parent is being told I am wrong constantly by someone who depends on me for food, clothing, and shelter. In just a moment, those kids are going to learn so many new words. Talking about snapping a photo at the perfect time. If you set off fireworks after my kids and dogs are asleep, I will find you and I will glare at you in a disapproving manner. Why do people use the phrase, I slept like a baby? Does that mean you woke up every two hours, put your pants and cried? You know, there's a lot of phrases that we say all the time that if you stop and think about them, they make absolutely no sense. Forget Netflix. Some of y'all need to start binge watching your kids. Welcome to adulthood. You get mad when they rearrange the grocery store now. My mom, I gave all your old toys to your little cousin. 20 year old me, I don't care how old I am. Those are my toys. Toddlers, the face of a baby, the attitude of a teenage girl, and the ability to go from angel to psychopath in 2.7 seconds flat. My son recently learned he can buy stuff with money. I came into my office to find this. Asked my five-year-old to keep an eye on his sister while I served him dinner. I peek out of the kitchen and find him like this. The good older brother. Four-year-old is livid because she thought we were traveling by fairy, not fairy. My mom thinking about who keeps using all the shampoo. Seven-year-old me making potions in the bathroom. Toddlers. Can't tie shoes? Have to wear Velcro instead. Toddlers when they see a tablet. Waiter, kids under 12 eat free. Dad, he's 10. Kid, actually I'm dad. This morning my son said his ear hurt and I said on the inside or the outside. So he walked out the front door, comes back in and says both. Moments like this got me wondering if I'm saving too much for college. To be a kid in front of the bin of multicolored rocks in an obscure gift shop. What the heck was the point of these things? And why did we want them so bad? When your mom forces you to speak to your relatives. Our friend came over to babysit last night. Ten minutes after we left, he sent me this pic. Last night, my son asked if I had ever heard of a pillow fight. I said I hadn't. So he explained the premise and asked if I would want to play. I awkwardly held a pillow as he gave me pointers through a smile that lit up the room. My first swing took him off his feet. He never saw it coming. Ten-year-olds doing TikToks. Me at ten. That was a pretty fun game when we were kids. When relatives visit your home and your mom offers them cookies that you have never seen before. I grounded my kid and this was his response. That'd be fun. I'd just open up a random can and that would be his dinner until all the cans were gone. He wouldn't do it anymore. Me to my kids. Too much candy will make you sick. Also me once they're in bed. My brother teaches English in Vietnam. 
I don't think this young student or his parents understood what his t-shirt meant. Kids that are being bullied trying to get help without getting in trouble themselves. The bully being openly abusive. When mom is alone with the baby. When dad is alone with the baby. This is how little kids stare at you in public areas for no reason. Would you slap him for $10 million? Sibling, I barely touched you. All my friends in kindergarten thought I was a vampire. I hate how your family stops giving you money on your birthday as you get older. Like I need it more now than I did when I was seven, Susan. I'm starving. Little girl interrupts dad's interview when he lies about doing chores and walking a dog. When you tell your kids one thing, but then your actions speak louder than the words. So they speak up for you. You make me nauseous. Or is it your baby I'm carrying? Either way, I want to barf and it's your fault. The old days of multiplayer games. Me as a parent trying to hide my snacks from the unemployed lazy people in my house. Parenting like a boss. It should be made illegal for those cars to have any other paint scheme but this one. Mom wanted me to Photoshop myself into the family photo, but there wasn't really any room for me, so I made it work. Mom told us to go play outside. Well, they're not wrong. My kid, I feel like you're always making up the rules and stuff. Me, like what? My kid, like if I don't clean my room, a portal will open and take me to another dimension. Me. Well, that's what happened to your older brother. My kid. What older brother? Me. Exactly. This is how I ground my kids now. Better yet, do this to the charger for all your kids' devices. And then sit back and watch them trying to conserve the battery. Who cares? Money. When you were a kid and every time you opened a card and there was money, but you always tried to act like you didn't see it and that you were more interested in reading the card. Have fun cleaning this up. Love you, Daddy. And it would be waiting for them right there when they got back home for them to clean up. Told the kids to go play outside. That moment when you figured out the difference between a marker and a permanent marker. There is a heartwarming picture of a little girl that saved a fish from drowning. That fish is half as big as she is. I asked my husband how everything was going. He sends me this. Draw fake eyebrows on your baby, then sit back and enjoy the humor. This is a good idea. 